what the NCAA selection committee calls two of the top 10 teams in the country. Nebraska comes in at number two. Minnesota opens in that first selection committee poll at number 10 at five and four, but Minnesota's had success here on the Huskers' home floor, having won two of the last three. That swing in and point early to the Gophers. Lydia Grote with the serve. Nebraska in system on their first, first touch. And Merritt Beeson with the kill. Minnesota was not far away in Iowa City. In a tussle with Iowa. They run the middle and quickly Awue with the kill. A block and a half per set for the Gophers. There's a nasty jump serve from Wooker and the overpass put down by Lanfair. It's a new look serve from McKenna Wooker. And there it is again, where it has some nasty movement. Down the line goes Beeson. Great dig by Kylie Murr, the transfer out of Ohio State. Pushed out to Peyton Horst, who goes off the top of the block. And Peyton Horst with the kill. So Lexi Rodriguez now will serve for Nebraska. Rodriguez, a junior out of Sterling, Illinois. That rides in on Wooker a bit, puts him out of system. Landfair trying to bail him out. The tip and successful kill. Push back out. Swing by Julia Hansen out of the back row. He'll go to Julia Hansen again, and that time dug by Rodriguez. Overpass. Another opportunity. Shaftmaster. Quick push out and the kill. <laughs> Behind Beeson one on one. He just pulls it right inside. Shaftmaster behind her. And it goes off the Nebraska block and out the kill for the Gophers. Shaftmaster now serving. Pushed it out to Batenhorst again. And remember, this is a Nebraska team defensively that's holding teams to an average 100 hitting percentage. Back row swing, Walker got it. Great job creating one-on-ones for their side. Good pass, right on spot. That sailed. the block, great up by Murr. And Wooker with an aggressive swing, but the block is there for Nebraska. Keegan Cook said earlier this week, he said, boy, when we are good, we are good. But when it starts to go off the rails, it can, and you've kind of seen that in some inconsistent play. I'd say right now, it's on the rails. Wooker again rolls it over right at Murray. Back to Harper Murray they go. That's set a little high. Good job defensively. Harper pulled back inside off the block and Murray with the kill. Crowd really bringing the energy on a Sunday night. Right up by Chill Boy. And a little joust at the net, won by the Huskers. Little tip. Diving in his oar to save it. Overpass, Shaftmaster. Back row attack, she can't go up and block in the front row, the back row. Short serve by Orr. Run the middle. One handed up. Not over. Def the uh, current reigning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Just a bit longer to serve. Big Ten Defensive Player of the <laughs> Year. Just so, so much excitement on both sides and two of the most fun liberos to watch. Well, and add to that, you have the defending Big Ten Player of the Year in Taylor Lanfer on the floor as well. That doesn't hurt. <laughs> Big swing, but what a block on the outside. And the way she approaches everything, whether it's coming into the gym or her play on the court. Beeson rolls it over. Run the middle. And down to the Gophers side, Point Nebraska. Boy, great defense led to offense. Miss 
Miscommunication there as Murr tried to take the second ball. Shaftmaster went back and then right in front of Murr goes Beeson. Along with Emily Eamon, I'm Larry Putney. Good to have you with us here from the Bob Devaney Sports Center in Lincoln, Nebraska for a battle of top 12 teams. It's a Minnesota team that comes in at five and four, but boy, Emily, you look at the schedule they have played. Ranked Baylor, Texas, Florida, Oregon, Stanford, Creighton. <laughs> you played six of the top teams, a lot of those in the top 10. He says, we can't show up in December and be surprised. We have to be ready to go right away, and that starts with non-conference. Murr takes the second touch out to Landfair. Rodriguez steps in to take it right into the block, and that block, one kill, one block early on here for Alouea, the transfer. Swipe straight down, good one-handed up by Hanson. Bumped out to Batenhorst again. She goes off the top of the block. Hanson pulled inside, not much she could do right at Shaftmaster. Puts the Gophers out of system, but Landfair bails him out. Good timeout by Keegan Cook. Since that timeout, 3-1 in favor of the Gophers, now not at a 13. Hitting 270 on the year, back to serve for the Huskers. And the ace for Beeson. We want to thank everyone for uh, your patience as we work through our technical difficulties, still getting all of our cameras back up, working diligently behind the scenes to Bring you all cameras in action from here at the Devaney Sports Center. And there's plenty of action when you are Jackson. 3-0 Nebraska run. Nebraska's best rotation in the ace. Two aces in this serve rotation here for Merritt Beeson and another timeout. Continues for Nebraska now a 5-0 run, 18-13 Huskers. Beeson continues to target Landfair right down that line. Great second touch there by Shaftmaster, but not down. Free balled over. 7-0 run against Ohio State in set one with that same rotation. That gets a friendly roll of the tape from Shaftmaster. The slide, Jackson goes line. Right at Murr, off and out, and point Nebraska. Defending Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. In fact, the last two Defensive Players of the Year, as you said, on the floor now. Rodriguez and Murr. Keegan Cook said he was surprised by Kylie Murr. He expected her to be a rah-rah kind of leader, mm -hmm. but she's really a sophisticated, mature leader. Yeah, she's really fiery, and I'll get there. her team hyped <laughs> yeah. up, but he was really impressed with the maturity that she brought to this team. Back row, Beeson sends it over. Murr with the bump set. Out to Grote, and Grote got it. Grote had a very modest start to the season, but double digits in kills in each of her last three. And there on the slide is Andy Jackson showing a little bit of fire. Nebraska the first to 20 here in the first. A great move at the last second to get out of the way, and it opens it up for Wooker. I think there is Murr to serve. into the donut, finds the campfire. Bergen Riley now back to serve. Shaftmaster behind her, Lydia again, and Grote with another kill. Hitting 4.06 in her last three matches. Overpass, a great job by Bergen Riley, and then sliding under the net. Choboy saves it. Beeson inside the big block. Oh, 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 Lulia was there. 
huge read for Melanie Shaftmaster up front, identifying that set was way inside, took a big step to her left, and now is able to close it up. Watch how far those hands get over to shut it down. Great run here by the Gophers to knot it at 21. Beeson. Murth bump set out to Shaftmaster into the block. Murr will take second touch again. Here's Wooker. That's off the hands and point for the Gophers. In the red zone, it's so important to continue to take those high, hard swings. And the serve long from Grote. All tied up at 22, Larry, <laughs> after that 4-0 Minnesota run. Well, and as, as you know, Emily, in the Big Ten Conference, this is what separates the great teams from the teams who are good. It's the ability to perform late in tight situations and make the plays. And who stresses who the most? Shaftmaster on the second touch, then another one sends it back over. Bump set out to bait horse, very tight to the antenna. A good quick run, but solo blocked by Beeson. Wow, on Wooker. With how fast tempo that set was, Merritt Beeson came flying in there, knowing her middle was going to be late. She dove her hands back inside for the stuff. Boy, the pace of that push to the pin was remarkable, and for Beeson to get there in time. Tough serve. Right back to Wooker again. Tip try not down. Riley, back row. And there's the freshman, Harper Murray. Nebraska on a 3-0 run, and we'll try to close it out here at 24-22. Set point in the first. And the service error. That's what you want to avoid. <laughs> Definitely, when you have set point, now you have the option again, but putting a serve in is really key. Set point number two, an opportunity here for the Gophers to push it to extra points. A tough serve, bump set, beat horse. Great dig by Murr, will send it back over. We'll push it back up to beat horse again, he rolls it and got it. top 10 in the country in blocks per set, including Becca Alec, who is number two individual in the country. Good pass by Murr. They run the middle. And a kill again by the freshman. Important here for the Golden Gophers to respond in set number two. They had the lead late in the first, good pace out there, but again, Merrick Beeson is reacting to that quick set. It's resulting in a lot of stuffs. They go out Landfair again, this time good pass by Taylor. Harper Murray into the antenna and wide point for the Gophers. Served by Grote is long. Lydia Grote was looking for a place to land. It made sense to look up Keegan Cook. Back row attack by Hanson. Got it. 35 inch vertical. That's insane. That's really Hanson, right? I mean, wow. Six of the last eight conference players of the year have been Gophers. There's one of them. And Coach Keegan Cook said, you know, he feels the pressure coming into a program. McGee with that last ace. And there is Andy Jackson, just enough power to go off the top of the block. Push back out, and fair left hands it over, a little swipe off the block. Tries it again, that time with the angle, and Landfair with the kill. Scary moment in that Iowa match when Shaftmaster went down 
stepped on the opponent's foot across the net, kind of dinged up that knee again. She's been battling with that knee injury since high school. You see the big brace on it for Shaftmaster. There's another hitting error there on Nebraska. Swiping it off the block and the kill by Batenhorst. Laney Choboy now to serve. Choboy originally committed to Minnesota. Four touches, point four Nebraska. Cook said that uh, Coach John Cook said that Laney Choboy is worth three points whether she's on the floor or not. Brings that kind of energy to this team. A lot of times that's with your energy. Rooker just long, boy. Boy, did he schedule, and maybe it was scheduled for him, but that early season schedule they had was difficult. Beeson back row. Wow, Merritt Beeson out of system. When, when it starts to go sideways for us, we don't always stop the runs, and Creighton, in that match against Creighton, they went on a 12-0 run against Minnesota. This right now is a 5-0 Nebraska run. Choboy to serve. Walker handles it well. Big swing by Grote, not down. To Murray, little roll shot. She got it. Just the pace and. Great again, and that swing is wide. The hitting error. Gophers here in this set, as you said, struggling on the hitting percentage. There they go. Nice tip there. Good decision by Grote. She leads the team with 18 service aces on the season. Boy, that ball really moves. Another kill, Harper Murray. Nebraska hitting 500 here in set two to the Gophers. Negative 059. Shaftmaster, good push. Nice tempo. And the overpass, and Grote is there to put it down. Second touch is too long. On the slide, Alec off the block, Murray's there. Shaftmaster runs the middle, little punch. Rooker shut down, Becca Alec with the block. It's so tough to tell because of how good the block set up. Mm. You have the hand on the other hand, exactly what you want, closing it up every time. Again, in that win over Oregon, her best performance of the season. Swing is long from Alec. Another good pass. Back row, Grote. Rodriguez steps in to take the second touch and a big block. Aguilera with a big hand over the net on the block. So off of Nebraska's timeout. Gophers on a bit of a run here, back to within four. And another point for the Gophers, another block, Beeson. Another one for Awalea up front, reading the play well, making explosive moves through her pin hitter to go up and shut it down. Just a strong block up front right now for the Gophers. Nebraska's seemingly been in system each of these last four points, and the Gophers just had a strong block up there. Great reads from Minnesota on their yeah. side. And again, that time of Awalea. Awalea cannot be stopped up front, even in a one-on-one -on -one situation, taking away the shot that she knows Becca Alec wants to hit. Already five blocks for Awalea.
Titan system again. That time off the top of the block, targeted the high hands there. And Murray got the kill. Smarter decision for Nebraska, whichever hitter was going up, not to hit it straight down into the block because they're going on a roll right now up front on Minnesota's side. Attack the edges, try to make them work a little bit more. Great diving up by Rodriguez. Beeson off the block. And another kill for Merrick Beeson. That is five. Nebraska doing really well in transition defense. Lexi Rodriguez making these plays look easy diving from anywhere. Bergen Riley setting with the flow of the play, just putting up an easy ball for Merrick Beeson to put down. Off the tape. Hansen goes wide. Echo Hansen, the tip again, point Nebraska. Back row attack called. Julie Hansen getting a toe on that line. If you're a back row attacker, you can't put any foot on the back line, otherwise you'll be called. Mm -hmm. You know each other well. Tip try by Hanson, not down. Baton Horse goes off the block and out of bounds. 2014, Nebraska back on top by six. Baton Horse, six for 10 right now. Still no errors in this match. An impressive turnaround from what she did on Friday against Ohio State, hitting under 100. Good pace out to Wooker and. Boy, she just hits it so hard. That one wide, but just so tough to defend from that left pin. Yeah, McKenna Wilker's got one of the quickest arm swings oh. in the Big Ten. From the time that she jumps to the time that ball is down, it is lightning quick. Push it out to her again. That time pushes it off the block and down. Smart shot by Wilker. Minnesota getting the better of the block, noticing that Becca Alec a bit too far off the net. There's space between her and the net. She can put it right in the hands to come down. And this top spin serve could be big right now for Minnesota to try to claw back. And another smart shot. That's seven kills for Batenhorst on 11 swings. Huge for Nebraska to get out of that rotation as soon as possible. McKenna Wooker put in a bullet back there. Handled well from Nebraska's serve receive. Allie Batenhorst seeing the other side of the court so well in terms of what the defense is doing. Serve long. Here in the current set, Nebraska hitting 182. Gopher is at negative 034. In the middle. Great up. Key back there to keep that alive. Swing is long for Beeson. Pretty big block up in front of her with Taylor Landfair. And she's low and over. Beeson knows she has to swing a little bit higher. That time swinging out. Checking into the game for the Golden Gopher at number four, Warren Crowell. Into the game for the first time, Warren Crowell at the opposite for the Gophers. Off the block, kept alive by Rodriguez. Right back to Beeson again. Back line. Oh, they're going to say no, point for Minnesota. They're going to say long. John Cook is grabbing the card right away and is going to challenge. Certainly looked in. Definitely looked pretty in. Call is, it is in, point Nebraska. 
Been one of Nebraska's better rotations with Beeson back at the service line. Two away from going up 2-0. Bump set attempt. A little bit wide the pin. Yeah, just a little <laughs> bit wide. But in Nebraska has that cushion right now. They're up five still. You can make those errors. You don't want to see them again. But at this point, Nebraska's okay with hitting one or two out. More touches. Leah Johnson's team with the sweep over Michigan, Michigan State, Michigan. Minnesota has rattled off four of the last five points. Second touch, and Riley has it down. Something about getting late in set setters love to get a little shoddy. <laughs> Smart decision, no blocker in front of her. Can go right inside. Set point of the second. Side of the like net. One down, two down, three down. Are they all going to go down? So, so much chaos happening on their side. Erica one, two, Davis three, doesn't four. care. <laughs> She's going to put it right back down. Set point number two. to the back row. Right on the back line. What a shot by Harper Murray on set point. And that is now 11 kills for Harper Murray and the sixth consecutive match. She's been in double digits and kills. Nebraska goes on top. <laughs> I always try to take souvenirs from places I go. I... <laughs> That's right. Soon to be available on eBay, by the way. <laughs> a good one handed up by Shaftmaster. Grote with the swing. Just wide by Grote. Something to note for Nebraska, they've only lost three sets all season, but those three sets have all come in the third set of a match. When they've already been up 2-0, those teams, Creighton, Stanford, Kentucky, push them to take the third. Look out for Minnesota. This is a team that isn't going to die being down 2-0. Last time Minnesota had a big run, it was Lydia Grote back at the service line. She's there again. The top of the block of Shaftmaster. Pushes out to Walker. On the line, off the block by Murray. Another block from Nebraska's way. That one left a little bit high. Minnesota could have played it, just misjudged the in and out call. For Murray back to serve, Baton Horse back in the front row for the Huskers. Good pass, Shaftmaster Alvalea on the slide, knocked down. And run Alec right back at him, and Alec delivers. Becca Alec, such an impressive shot. Everything she's showing is going cross court. Last second, she turns her shoulders to the left, hits that back to zone one. Out of the back row. Push it out to Walker again, and that time 
just powers right through the block and the kill by McKenna Walker. Beautiful transition play for the Gophers. Julia Hansen takes this ball back from zone one, leads Melanie Schaffmaster, so she's able to get McKenna Walker going with tempo, resulting in a seam in the block for her to hit right through. Walker now back with that jump serve. Tape and Ali Batenhorst gets the friendly roll, and that is now eight kills, 13 swings. Batenhorst hitting 615. How about that out of system ball from Merritt Beeson in the perfect spot? It's the little things that make this Nebraska team elite, whether it's out of system transition. They're doing such a great job. Good short serve. Bergen pushes it back to Beeson. Joust at the net, won by the Gophers. Chapmaster putting a little bit of extra power into that one, making sure she's the second person to go up. You have a little bit more momentum going down that way. Watch this strength over her shoulder against two blockers. Into the game of the middle for the Gophers now is Erica Davis, the six-foot junior out of Hillsboro, North Carolina. Middle, Beeson swipes at her. Check that in. Andy Jackson with lift called on Nebraska. Yeah, that ball in Jackson's hands just a little bit too long. Watch her, she kind of grabs it and throws Ooh. it rather than just using her fingertips. Sometimes the crowd gets mad about those, but that one is uh, pretty yeah, clear. <laughs> Sat in there a little bit too long. Yeah. Good serve by McGee. Beeson with the kill off of the hands of Landfair. Good shot from Beeson up front, identifying the blockers too high, not far over enough to Landfair. In a good spot, the hands just not pressed over. Beeson back at the service line. She's been targeting Landfair most of the match. We'll see if she goes there again and does. But Walker takes. Allie Batenhorst, a great save. Terrific job by Shaftmaster to keep that alive. Batenhorst to tip that time. And second time of the charm for Allie Batenhorst. Nine kills for Batenhorst. Nine kills on 15 swings. Batenhorst doing so much up front. Also getting her shots in different places. She's thrown in a lot of tips that have scored. She's also ripped a few. Batenhorst's best performance on the year was 12 kills at Kentucky, or when Kentucky came here, not on the road, but against Kentucky. Hit 281 on that one. She had three errors to go with those 12 kills. Right now, errorless with nine kills, hitting 600. A scramble for both teams. Trying to get in system here. Gophers have the opportunity. A swipe by Landfair, back row roll shot. Harper Murray. Defense turning into points for Nebraska. Merritt Beeson just dig after dig, allowing these transition plays to happen. Harper Murray seeing the defense on the other side. Massive hole in the donut for her to hit. Just disguises that roll shot so well. She's done it a few times tonight. down the line and a good swing there by Hanson outside the block. That slows Nebraska's 3-0 run. Perfect shot by Hanson in the back row. So much line for her to hit. Just puts it right in the corner. Shaftmaster serve is wide. the rotation that Minnesota really struggled with mm. last set, rotation one, with Laney Choboy on the service line. Another 
kill for Grote. Gophers get out of that one right away. So important with how tough Lanny Choboy's serve is. This will put Taylor Landfair back on the service line. Four hitters on Minnesota's side to worry about. Good swing by Grote to put this away. Just going for the edges of the block. Murray Long, no touch. Gophers point back to within one. Trading points here in this third set for Minnesota. Backs up against the wall. This is a must-win set for them to stay in this match. They'll take any air they can get from Nebraska's side. And back out again. That time, Harper back-to-back -back swings. She's long. Bergen Rally likes to go back to the player that just made an error to like to give them a little bit more confidence on that next swing. Now might be a time to maybe go away from her. Let her reset on her own. Back row, Beeson with the tip. And diving up by Shaftmaster. Bump set out to Grote. And another kill by Lydia Grote. She now has six. Great step close up front from Lydia Groat. This ball left way inside. Blockers weren't there, so she could get her feet there quickly. This is what's happened. It'll result in a play like this, where the blocker's way too far out, so much open cross court. Gophers on a bit of a run, 4-0 on the serve of Landfair. And the block, that's Groat again. And timeout taken by Nebraska. Nebraska's knocking off Ohio State on Friday. The football team winning yesterday. And the Huskers looking for a sweep against a top 12 opponent in Minnesota. And out of the timeout, they run the slide, and Jackson delivers. Tough pass, Shockmaster chases it down, the tip right into the block. Wooker off the side of the block of Riley. So now the all-time digs leader at Ohio State back to serve for the Golden Gophers. How strange does that seem to say? <laughs> Just at the net and oh my. Oh, good quick decision by Alec. Good swing by Grote. Good dig by Cho Boy. Bump set over there, set over the head by Rodriguez. Out of bump set. Ooh, what a dive by Cho Boy. A little behind Beeson on the set. Wooker, your tools, the hands again of Murray. Good decision by Wooker. Gophers back on top. Just. Tough serve. Three ball opportunity here for the Huskers. Riley to push it out to Batehorse, who swipes right into the arms of Murr. And then it goes off of Rodriguez and Wooker with the kill. Here's that tough jump serve of Wooker. Beeson. I love what Keegan Cook said earlier this week. He said, who we are is not conditional. In other words, it doesn't matter what the situation is, who we are should not change. And I think that's one of the things he's really trying to push with this Gopher team that's talented, but still trying to figure out all the roles and pieces and parts. Point for Minnesota. Third error, and that's long. And 
serve is long by Beeson. This is when you have to play clean late in sets. The system again, bump set out to Batenhorst, and Batenhorst long as well, that's three. Stanford took the third against Nebraska. Creighton took the third against the Huskers. Batenhorst a little tight. Murray pulled back inside Beeson. Oh my, what a shot by Merritt Beeson. Just a little touch will do it. Merritt Beeson, she doesn't have to unload on the ball. Exploiting that middle of the court, it's worked a few times tonight. She's not in the best position to make this play. She can still score, even in tough situations. Swing, killed by Erica Davis on the quick. Davis trying to put a hole in the floor. Perfect connection with Melanie Shaftmaster. Such a quick ball on the gap, splitting the blockers. It's coming out so fast, you don't have time to get there. And Erica Davis makes him pay. Check out how fast this set is. I mean, coming out of Shaftmaster's hands so quick. Lanter with the service error. Kennedy Orr now in to serve for Nebraska. Gophers up by one in set three, trailing two sets to none. First two went 23 and 20 in favor of the Huskers. Nebraska just returning the favor. Momentum is so important late in sets. It can really earn you that set win. For, for Minnesota, they have to try to quiet Nebraska as soon as possible, playing in a gym with 8,500 people. For Nebraska, they need to limit their errors right now to try to find some consistency to build momentum. There is Harper Murray. 13 kills for Murray. Late in sets, Harper Murray becomes a go-to attacker for Nebraska. They know she's gonna take big swing after big swing. Bergen Riley trusts her to do that even late in sets, even out of system. Worker into the block. Murr bump sets it. Good pace there by Grote. Took a little bit off it and kind of fooled Riley. Rhoda's been hammering that cross-court shot. She has the ability to go line if it's pushed there, but she loves ripping it across. So for the first time tonight, Minnesota the first to 20 in a set. On top, 2018 here in the third. Oh oh system again, Beeson pulled inside, but got the touch. Smart swing by Merritt Beeson. Upset out to Beeson. Beat the block. Right over the top of it. Inside the end line for the kill. Merritt Beeson lighting things up for Nebraska. This ball left outside. She knows that seam is open. 5 6, right between Murr and Landfair. Puts it right in between the defenders. the ace and Nebraska now on a 3-0 run. Nebraska in the middle of a 3-0 run on top 21-20. Pass there by Murr. Looker not down. Beeson. Was long, went right at Lanfair, just couldn't get out of the way. Riley will go behind. The piece and tip, not down. Bump set out to Batenhorst into the block. And it's down, all even at 21. Big read for Melanie Shaftmaster. All plays happening on their left side of the court, but Nebraska sends it out to their left side. Melanie Shaftmaster got there in time to get the stuff. Two big options up front here for the Gophers. Awale is up front, along with Shaftmaster. And 
the overpass, Awulea. Second time, she won't be so gentle. Goes back over. Lanfair tries to go off the block and does not hit the block, and it goes wide. Discipline block for Merritt Beeson up front. She saw Heather Lanfair was going up for the tip, so she reached over even more, stayed disciplined, low and over, so Lanfair couldn't use her. Boy, that is a point to look back at. A couple of opportunities. I will lay it right at the net, an opportunity to close it out. Mistimed on the slide. And he took over at the big forced angle. Good up by Murr. Overpass. Jackson right down the middle on the quick from Riley. What a set. Bergen Riley, so impressive. Just a freshman, but she does not look like it. Getting Andy Jackson going. But with Bergen Riley so far in, Andy Jackson has to call an audible and a quick one behind. Twenty-three, twenty-one. Good swing by Lanfair. Big side out for Minnesota, nailing the pass. Lanfair is able to go with some tempo off of the set from Shaftmaster, leaving a massive hole in the block. Taylor Lanfair just follows that arm right through it. One of the top swings we've seen from Lanfair tonight. And she now has seven kills, back to within one. Shank pass. And joust at the net. One by Beeson. Wow, what hustle. How about the hustle? to bring this ball back in. This ball shank pass, chases it down, runs into the scores table, Merritt Beeson. Wow. Puts it over. Puts Nebraska at match point 24-22. Closes it out. Nebraska just suffocating Minnesota in terms of defense. During those long rallies, Nebraska was able to outlast the Gophers. Now 11-0, best start since 2016, led by the best defense in the country.